Hentai. Yes, hentai. You've heard the word, but be honest, do you really understand what it is? Now, I'm not going to get into an entire deep dive on the entire history behind it, but to me, there's always seemed to be something missing. Let's face it, we've all come across it, whether intentionally or not. That goes for Echi, which damn near tiptoes the boundary line separating the two. And that very thin line also happens to keep a specific demographic out, the female demographic. But it's true that it's often catered to men. Whether it be the angles, the characters, or the stories, it's mostly men-oriented. And although I generally believe that there has been some great advancement to include everyone, there seems to be another specific type of media that's pushed towards women, and that is the TL genre. As someone who reads all her manga mostly in Japanese, I've come across a lot of manga genres, and one of them is called TL. TL, or Teens is Love, is a genre in Japan for an older female audience that often ranges from ages 18 and up. TL popped up originally in the mid-1990s, with the two heralds being Edu Teen Comics, and Shoujo Kakumen. Although it has teen in the title, these series are often actually a form of erotica fiction that is marketed towards women in a variety of various forms from manga, games, and light novels. It's interesting to note that the TL genre's main plots contain both love and sex as the main points and often include the main couples included in the stories falling in love. Think of it basically as a romance novel with an egregious amount of lovemaking in each chapter. And while there are some wholesome stories in male-oriented hentai, it can be pretty rare to find in comparison to TL where almost 75% contain nothing but bluff. And unlike Shoujo and Jose, the female leads are almost always in their late 20s to their early 30s, unless a rare occasion occurs, with most female leads either already having experience in life, thus being less airheaded. Unlike hentai, female-targeted erotica is still considered inappropriate in both Japan and across the world. So you can only imagine when the first TL comic was adapted into an anime what happened. The very first anime adaption of a TL comic was On a Lustful Night Mingling with a Priest, otherwise known in Japanese as Soryu to Majiwaru Shikkyo no Yori ni. It aired for 12 episodes in 2017 that were 3 minutes apiece from April 3rd to June 19th. And although the series is basically erotica, there are three versions of the anime, which rolled over onto all the other upcoming adaptions throughout the years. An all-ages broadcast version, a 15 plus version on ATX, and an uncut 18 plus version streamed on Comic Festa Anime Zone. This set up the formula for many adaptions to come. The plot was pretty straightforward. Mio Fukatani goes to her high school reunion and reunites with a classmate named Takahide Kujo, who she remembers as being warm-hearted. She finds out he's a monk, so she gives up on learning more about him for some reason, gets drunk for some reason, and he takes her home for some reason. And they tangle between the sheets. That's literally it. Then they become a couple. Not the best first adaption or first impression of a TL comic looking back on it, which is why most just took it as a joke and wrote it off as Saitama becoming a monk, surprising pretty much everyone. Little did we know that another adaption of another TL comic was on the way, and it was about to kick things up a couple of notches. Next up was Sweet Punishment, I'm the guard's personal pet, otherwise known as Amai Chobatsu, Watashi wa Kanshu Sen yo Petto, and the actual name that's too dirty to say out loud. Hina Saotome is sent to Koku Yoka prison for embezzlement and tries to prove her innocent multiple times. She's also in a prison full of men and no other woman whatsoever, which is very convenient. Unfortunately for her, the prison warden, Aki Myojin, decides to toy with her, for lack of a better word, every chance he gets. Following the trend and ignoring the reception overseas with the reception in Japan being pretty good, they continue this trend until they continue to create more and more adaptions of TL comic material. Second time's to try, I guess. In this vein, we can see it this way. As anime adaptions of Isekai Garbage are relentlessly being released because of light novels and web novels, anime adaptions of so-called girl hentai are being siphoned from the vast sea of TL comics. From 2017 to 2022 in this video thus far, we've had Saitama looking monks, smexy firefighters, teacher-student relationships, and the most recent edition thus far, a girl reincarnated as a villainous into an otome game. No, not that one. I'ma be honest, I ain't mad at all. Are some of these anime series utter garbage? Yes, but guess what? It may bring about better change, and change the preconception that only men have shitty anime to complain about. Let women have shitty stuff too. Honestly, when you turn your brain off to watch both hentai and these erotica shows, they actually become pretty interesting. Look at how much one guy can complain because they're bringing too many Otome games overseas and neglecting the visual novels when there's like 300 of them on Steam. For 10 hentai series, there are probably like 5 that are average and the other 5 are great. Why not have TL anime adaptions be included in that number too. And I can confidently say that as long as this material exists, we're not going to stop seeing adaptions of TL comics anytime soon, and instead welcome in a new era that I'm dubbing as the rise of hentai for women. 